Alright guys, we are back at it tonight. It's going to be a little different today. Uh, instead of just showing you the tank, I'm actually going to be transferring these corals. Some of them are already free, some of them are attached to rocks. And uh, one of them, poor Rainbow Acan, uh, got hit off his, uh, his mount the other day when I was transporting my tank back here. A lot of you guys, well, a few of you guys asked how I move my tank. It's just a five gallon bucket, throw everything in there, save as much water as you can, and then it's as simple as doing a water change, or treating it as if you're adding water, like a water change when you get to your destination. My drive's about three hours, and the water usually drops to about... Uh, 70 down from 75 76 so it's not horrible and they get by fine and my Ross says here's a better view uh, the heads for my magician Zoas or Pally's glass is dirty I don't want to clean it because it's about to get dirty again but you see one two new heads there on the left Two new heads on the right and two new heads coming out on the middle one and there's actually two new heads coming out on the far back too as well so that thing's blowing up I think what my plan is today is to uh, cut that magician uh, pally or frag it out by chipping the rock off but still leaving some in the tank because I want to make this tank grow out I'm gonna take the two uh, Rossozoa is out that's on that small rock but if you look very closely there's a third one in the back I'm gonna leave that one that one in here to grow out and uh, start a new colony on this rock uh, after this one gets pulled out uh, I'm probably going to try to frag this it's covered in green hair algae so I'd rather just leave it in the tank till they get bigger um, same thing with the neon green clove polyps I'll just save those two for another day that just seems like too much work for me to want to do uh, I got the orange bam bams here. I'm gonna try and frag off. I'm gonna leave the two upper ones in the center of the screen alone. That way, I'll have a colony in this tank as well. The rainbow a can's just gonna come since that's already fallen off. These guys are gonna come. However, I'm gonna try and frag that small, uh, small one that you see uh, to the bottom right there. I'm gonna keep that one off. Uh, just in case these big boys decide they don't like the new tank and decide to die. Uh, all the uh, pallies in the back are coming out together. There's not too much green hair algae on it. And the red blasso is coming out as well. Uh, I'm a little skeptical about moving this guy because he's doing so well in this tank. He's rebounded like crazy. He was just a skeleton uh, last I saw him when the tank crashed. Same thing with the rainbow Acan. But let me show you what I'm going to use. It's nothing complicated. Just going to take the rocks out one by one, set them on this pan. Oh boy, made in the USA. Hoorah. Uh, cut off that, cut off whatever I need to cut off here. Then by the spastic light, I don't have a hammer and a flathead um, to frag the rocks down there. So what I'm probably going to use instead is the um, flathead that's on the Swiss or just try and dig the uh, rock out or the coral out with the rock on it uh, and then I have a 9x9 nine nine filled with some water just so I can keep the corals wet and happy after I frag them off or actually while I'm fragging if they're still on it. And I have a couple cups here. Uh, first one's iodine just in case I hit it. Um, you know I'm gonna drop the coral in there uh, so it can heal or it helps healing. I'm using Lugol's Directions are on the back, but you pretty much add it drop by drop to aquarium water. Um, all this water up until the last cup is going to be the water from the original Evo. And then I'm going to do a drip cup as my last cup. So this is iodine for emergencies. This cup is going to be coral dip. I'm going to manually work by getting the green hair algae off in here before I dip. And then I'll dip, not for the sake of the green hair algae, but more so for the uh any hitchhikers that are coming from that tank nothing's in that tank so i'm not concerned about it but i'm doing it for the sake of doing it after that i have the rinse cup this is where the uh, corals sit after you dip them for however long you want to dip them for you can dip them for a few minutes and up to no more than 15 for the iodine 10 to 15 minutes hopefully i don't use that but i'll leave it there just in case uh, i don't remember if i told you directions on this Pretty much you make the water to where it's kind of like a, 
yellow like urine in a way but yeah it's uh to be specific 40 drops per gallon uh, the revive coral dip is for a red solo cup I did the math it's about a fourth of a cap so the cap is what you measure with originally in the directions uh, rinse yep and then the drop I'm just gonna transfer some more water into here and then drip over time all the corals in together after I have everything else uh, situated I don't think there's anything in there that's aggressive no they're all gonna be friendly so uh, yeah then uh, sorry for the spasm people I tried fixing it it's it's not gonna fix the only way I can fix it is to look at the tank like this but I don't think anyone wants to look at the top of the tank so we're just gonna deal with this sorry maybe further away yeah further away sure uh, these guys are doing happy my frog my hammer and these fill-ins the, here's a leather finger growing real nice and those guys in the back are growing real nice what my plan today is I'm gonna leave the frog down here I am gonna take it off of the uh, um, whatever it's on blanket right now um, and I'm going to leave this in the sand these two in the sand and I'm gonna move everything else except the leather he's staying where he's at because I don't want to glue him down he seems like he's glued himself down on the sand in that shell uh, everything else is going to go on to the rocks after I transfer the color onto the rocks. The rest is just filler. So what I'm thinking, uh, and it's tentative of course, is to place the blastos, or sorry, the red blasto and the rainbow acan, uh, probably one here and then one here on the rock on the bottom. I'm going to move my shrooms possibly up to the top on this left rock. And then my pallies up front, and then the, I don't know, we'll figure out, we'll play it out, we'll play it out by ear. But I'm going to get started, let me uh, mix this solution up before we do anything else. Alright, I'm just using the uh, iodine by Kent, you know. This thing is so old that the uh, handle up top is actually cracking, so maybe I won't use this. Yeah, let me get something else. Alright, handy dandy pipette. Uh, we'll go darker than that. It's like playing with food coloring. Alright, that's good enough for me. Cool. So just a warning as you're using your coral dip. It's super, like, it stinks. It, you, can, you can tell it's potent, so don't get it in your eye and you don't really want to handle it with bear gloves. Wear safety glasses anytime you frag something. Uh, don't have gloves with me today so I'm just gonna suck it up but yeah also wash your hands before you eat something because this crap can get serious you have been warned cool so that's done got my iodine got my coral dip got my rinse and my drips gonna come when everything else so let's go ahead and get started so because it's already off I'm just going to go ahead and grab the uh, rainbow A can. Wow. Just going to agitate it a bit, give it some time to close up. I don't want to damage it. Look at that. Just like that, it has shrunk, people. Just times like these, you wish you had three hands. I'm sorry. I know I'm shaking. I'm sorry. All right. Now this one, since it's already off, I'm really just trying to inspect it. Look for any green hair algae on the bottom. I don't really see too much of anything since this has been knocked off. All I see is just some 
super glue from the last time, so that's good. I'm just going to go ahead and take a toothbrush to the bottom of it. I have one here, just to, to make sure there's no spores. I know that's not going to help much, but, you know, I like to be safe, so I'm going to do that. I've been so neglecting this coral from day one. I've just been too lazy to do this. To take it off the freaking flag, frag plug, and put it onto a rock. But today's a day. All right, I'm not gonna iodine dip this one because it's not gonna need it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and coral dip it, and then into the rinse. So magic. Woo! I'm not trying to touch that with my hands, sorry. Get that fixed. Because I'm in no rush, I'm going to do a coral by coral. Because you really don't want to forget a coral in here. I'm only doing it for two minutes anyway, since it's not really, in, like, it doesn't have many uh, carriers on it. Or parasites that I'm too concerned about, since it is my coral. So, we'll just go ahead and uh, pause the video. And I'll resume it on the next one. I won't have to really show you guys scrubbing and dubbing. Because that's some common sense stuff. I don't want to shorten this video. But you guys get the point. Forgot to mention, with the coral dip, you do want to mix. What I like to do is mix and also shoot the corals with water using a syringe of some sort. Some people like a turkey basker. Uh, basker, because that's just uh, more water flow. But normally what you'll see, and I think I've shown dips before on my channel, but you'll see the parasites starting to float around on the bottom. So once you pick it up, uh, you pick it up, shake it off in this water before you come into the rinse. And then you can shake it off again in the rinse, set it, sift the water again, and then repeat, and then put it in the, the temper water. Yep. Cool. So I dropped that in the rinse, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, while that rinses off, just does its thing, chilling in the water that is originally its own tank water, we're going to go in and start the next coral. Up next, let's go ahead and do this uh, mushroom right here. Again, I'm going to frag that small one. So with this, you don't really have to touch the uh, mushrooms to really agitate them. You don't have to touch any coral to agitate them. What you can do instead is just bring it up to the top of the water, bring it out of the water, put it back in. Do that a couple more times. And most of the corals usually like to uh, to go back down. So I'm just trying to make sure this closes up right now because this does have green hair algae as you can see. And I am going to take that off. Alright buddy, hurry up. Okay, that's good enough. Cool. Yep, let's do it. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, use two hands here, get it off the frag, and uh, chip off this small mushroom right here, and put it back in that other tank and clean the rest off. I'm gonna probably put this whole chunk of rock in there after I clean it because it does have a lot of coralline algae and my new tank needs some coralline algae in it anyway so I'm hoping that propagates from here and nothing else all right let's do it all right well because of the awkward shape of this rock that was very difficult but I'm gonna keep that small guy on there hopefully uh, these guys don't crash but if they crash I'm just gonna take them out move them to the other tank so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, coral dip it and move on to the next one Hey, that cleaned up a lot better than I thought it would. Went ahead and uh, tackled the uh, frag over here. They used to have these zoas on it. Yeah, they're super small right now because of the agitation. Just looks like a rock, but they're on here. Looks pretty clean to me. I'm not seeing anything else. Let's use the uh, toothbrush in front of the current here. Yeah, tooth toothbrushes are great, guys. Brush your teeth. This is my public service announcement. Alright, let's get this dipped. 
and I have the uh, shrooms in the wash or in the rinse cup now. They're just hanging out. Cute, cute. Moving his plan. Moving his plan. Time for uh, time to break these rocks off. I don't know if I can do this, guys. No promises. I need my toolkit, and it's in my car in the parking garage, and it's just too cold out. So, yeah. No promises. Gonna go ahead and get this red blast out since I know it'll come off easy. I'm just gonna pull this whole rock out and that'll leave uh, just the sunny D's on it. They can live out of the water for a bit. I'll just go ahead and frag them next while I have that same rock out and then we'll move on to the other two on the other one. Might actually be daring enough to, to get one of those tonight. I'm feeling it. We'll see. So yeah, I just took the flathead, hit it once. Sorry, that's my hand. Hit it once here. And you know you see the whole thing's off. Now I just gotta see if this thing is attached or not to the rocks or if it's still to itself. Looks like it has been attached to the rocks. I'm gonna need two hands here, sorry. It's pretty neat. If you're looking at this, you can see the old dead skeleton and the new the new is kinda growing up over the old skeleton, so it was still the old skeleton attached to the rock. I just chips it a bit and got this whole thing out so I'm just gonna clean it green it clean clean the uh, green hair algae off of it in the tank now same thing as I did last time now here you can actually see the uh, one of these heads is kind of free hanging and attached on uh, the old skeleton uh, that's loose so I think I damaged it a bit hoping this one's fine, this looks fine but I'm gonna go ahead and dip this in the iodine for uh, five or so minutes, maybe five, five, ten minutes probably five while the blasto is in my iodine I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start hitting this coral up here, this sunny D I'm gonna remove the rock structure with it hopefully the joys of super glue ladies and gentlemen the joys of super glue, this fragging itself Stayed on the super glue. That's awesome. Cool. Time to clean it. Alright, so I damaged. Well, I didn't damage. It was already damaged, but this one uh, was damaged. You can see that flap loose. Yeah, I'm just going to dip them in the iodine as well. Moving on, people. So I already removed the uh, red blasto from the iodine dip. I washed him back in this water right here before I put him in the coral dip because I don't want him to feel overwhelmed and then I'm gonna put him in the rinse cup I think you guys get the routine right now so I'm gonna go ahead and finish all the other coral and uh, mount them and show you the finished products